Hey, Captain Chris Meyer, Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. In this video, we're going to look at how to use a D hooker. And I really encourage everyone to get some kind of D hooking device other than needle nose pliers. Uh, there's a lot of good tools on the market. I'm going to show you the ones I've been using for years. These are the ARC D hookers. There's my big offshore one. Here's my little one that I use for fly fishing and small inshore. And here's my average size one. I've probably used the most. I've literally unhooked thousands of fish with these devices and every person that sees it on my boat says, hey, that's a real neat tool. Did you make that? Uh, no, I didn't. I've purchased these years and years ago. Uh, there's not a speck of rust on them. They've been used almost primarily in salt water. I'm going to show you a little video we shot a couple months ago on actually using this thing, so how you would use it and why you'd want to use it. It's a great tool if you have fish with teeth but also a great tool where you do not have to handle the fish if you're going to release it and it does not damage your flies or lures. This is Captain Chris Myers, Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. Today I want to show you the D hooker that I use, the ARC D hooker. It's a lot better than using a pair of pliers. And this thing is good for fish that are hooked in the lip and down deep inside. And the way we're going to use this device is we're going to hook it on the line. And it has a little pigtail here. This little pigtail is pointing up. I'm going to grab my line, rotate it down, and I slide it down until I reach the bend of the hook. And because I'm right-handed, I do it with my right hand. So my left hand's up, right hand down, the fish in the water. Then I'm going to just rotate my hands and sometimes you have to give a little shake, sometimes you don't. That's how I'm gonna get that fish off without putting my hands on them. So even if I took a picture, I can put the fish back in the water. A fish that have fins, fish that have teeth, it's a great tool that keeps, the, keeps you from getting your fingers bit or your hands poked. You can also use this device if the fish is hooked down inside the mouth, and this is where the advantage of this type of D-hooker over the J-hook uh, devices that you may see. And what I would do in that case is I hook it on the same. I come down until I get the bend of the hook. And when you have some weight on here, it's a little easier. Then I'm going to put my both hands together. And now the hook is caught in the top of this circle. So if it was a J hook, D hooker, it wouldn't be able to do that. I keep the fish right down by the water. I give it a quick push down an inch or so. And it almost always pops that hook right out. So that avoids you from having to do surgery with needle nose and hold the fish with towels and do a lot of damage to the fish. They make this de-hooker and this is their medium size. They make it a giant size for offshore fishing. I have a little small one about half the size of this with a much smaller ring for fly fishing and ultralight lures. It's an ARC de-hooker. I'll put the link to them below. I've had this one for going on 20 years and it looks just as new as the day I bought it. Except today now they come with a fancy rubber handle. This is one of their first models that I bought at a fishing show years and years ago. But try out this ARC D hooker. I think you'll find it's a lot more effective than using some pliers. Another advantage I get to this is if I have plastic lures or flies, I don't have to pinch my lure with a pair of pliers. So it works just as good on lures I just slide it down until I get the bend of the hook. Every lure is going to have or fly has a bend in it. Pops right out exactly the same. I never have to grab onto it and damage my plastics or fancy flies. Get the fish up next to the boat. I'm going to pop the bale open. Grab that line a couple feet above. About two feet above the hook. Get my D hooker. Put it on this way. Rotate it till the circle is flat to the water. Come down, get the bend of the hook, and then I'm gonna rotate my hands, put my right hand up, my left hand down. Just that easy, it comes off. Slide it down. On until you get to the bend of the hook. Now I have my light, left hand up, my right hand down. I'm just going to switch hands, put my right hand up, my left hand down. Just give them a little shake and they come right off. So this is the position 
we first get the hook, rotate our hands, shake them off. Thanks for checking out my video today. Hopefully you learned a couple things about de-hooking the fish and you're going to invest in a de-hooking tool to put on your boat or in your tackle box to take with you. As always, please subscribe to my channel so you can get all my fishing related videos. And if you're going to be in the Orlando area, call me for a saltwater inshore fishing charter.